Welcome to Coke's Cinema Reviews. Hello all fans of art, all students of film, all movie savants. To the very first episode. Today we got The Batman starring Robert Patterson. The very first thing I want to say before we get to anything with this movie is Robert Patterson did what he needed to do as a Batman. And it's funny actually because I remember when the movie first got announced and we found out it was going to be starring him, a few people were upset and were thinking he couldn't maybe handle that type of role. Me personally, I felt like he was kind of being typecasted in just that Twilight persona, but that's truly not the case. I've seen him in very strong, compelling, believable characters such as in Lighthouse, in Harry Potter 1 and 4, shout out Hermione Granger. Robert Patterson has proved himself time and time again that he is a very gifted actor to make us believe he's a certain character. And Twilight is a very compelling series as well. But getting to the trailer, I think DC does a great job more than almost anybody in the business of film at getting people excited to see a movie, getting people to want to put butts in the seats, getting people to bring their families out of their home on a school night, because we need to see what's going on. I think this time was no different. I think this was a very exciting trailer. I think everybody that saw it was pretty hyped, especially following the amazing perspective we got from the Joker with Joaquin Phoenix in that film. If there's one thing they know how to do is give you a dope trailer. <laughs> but DC is also known for disappointing us sometimes after giving us such a compelling trailer. So going into the film, I was skeptical. The mood throughout this film is very ominous. You get the real gritty feeling of everyday life of living in Gotham City. It literally rained every single day and night of the movie. In fact, the only day it didn't rain was the day of a funeral, which was also a pretty sad day. Almost felt like they were in Seattle, but that's Gotham. As the feel for the Riddler and what he brought to the film were his very expected, uniquely designed puzzles, which truly set up Robert Pattinson to flaunt the true skills of Bruce Wayne and, you know, parade his intellect. I think there are multiple scenes in the movie where Robert Patterson showed his detective side and outshined most of the cops in the room multiple times and any other peer he had near him. And that definitely goes to claim on the day of the funeral when the Batman had their mental chess match of riddles with the neck collar. If you know, you know. I even enjoyed the thumb job bit with the Riddler. That was also nice. The Riddler also gave us this comical scene with the Penguin being tied up forcing him to wobble around like a penguin after everybody else got away. That was, I, I did enjoy that. Was, that was pretty funny. I like, I like, I like DC style of comedy when they stick to what they do. I like that. There was great use of camera focus throughout the film, shifting on the importance of every frame flawlessly when they needed to. That was definitely noticed. It was also a little funny that Batman wasn't as graceful as a flyer in this movie. But I guess the stipulations were complicated. You gotta get away like that. I don't know, maybe. I feel like they had a good tempo set in the atmosphere, no matter what the situation. Shout out to the director, Matt Reeves. Also had a pretty good soundtrack to back it. Oh, it was also a funny moment when Batman was um, investigating with his black friend cop. And uh, they walk in the building and Batman's like, hey, no guns. And the cop looked at him like, I beg your pardon? Yeah, man, that's your thing. I'm, I'm coming in a strap. I'm, let's go. Come on, Batman. Let's go. And it's not like he's walking in there with billionaire armor and a cloth of white privilege. I understood it. Catwoman. I believe Zoe Kravitz gave everything desired of a person playing the role of Catwoman. I even know people that are only coming to see this film just to watch three hours of her walk around. That's how much she bodies her character. But she had incredibly dope fight scenes, huge ties to the overall story of the film, and was a compatible love interest for Robert Patterson through his rendition of Batman. My only gripe is that I wish they gave her a better mask for the film, only as a fan bias, but I do think the ski mask gave great reference to her kleptomaniac personality trait, which she of course showed off in parts of the movie. You know, I was just venting, man. 
Yeah, you know.